Kentucky. They love thoroughbreds who know how to run down the stretch and get to the wire first. And certainly, they've seen plenty of them here. From Johnny Unitas to Lamar Jackson, today, the Louisville Cardinals will try to live up to that legacy. Today, we have a top 25 matchup on hand with two of college football's premier teams preparing to slug it out. As we'll see, the number 23 team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the Louisville Cardinals. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Canes will put total leather to crank us up. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Louisville's offense takes the field to start this game off. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. There's a lot of different ways this offense can attack you throwing the ball. One of them is getting the running back going, and the screen is a great way to get him lathered up and get the defense starting to think about him a little bit more now. Now they'll face third and four in their first possession of the game. Wants to throw. It's shut. Finds his tight end. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Cardinals will line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He'll bring it back. It's Restrepo. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. So Miami's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Well, the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Just moving those chains the way Frank Gore did back in the day. Frank Gore, Willis McGahee, Edron James, so many elite backs in Miami history. Finding that guy that you can give the ball to that's reliable, important part of the Canes tradition. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run this offense. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And the Canes have it with a first and ten. The give to the tailback. 
Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. To throw, it's Ward. They're working that left side. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Slants against man. That wide receiver has to win right now. Right now at the line of scrimmage against that DB playing man coverage. Quarterback timing with the wide receiver. Put it on the money. Wide receiver's probably still going to get hit, too, and got to hold on to that thing. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. And the Hurricanes have it in scoring position on first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. trying to pay it off on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Caves! And they break the seal on the scoring. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. The give to the back. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six yard gain. I, I like it, just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards, make them honor the run, make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. After the strong run on second down, third down coming do they do it again to the air it's shot he's gonna run it he gets the job done picking up the first down then getting down sometimes you just got to give credit like we had it covered we knew it was a pass uh cover everything covered underneath but the quarterback does such a good job of making that second play something special pulling it down getting the first down pretty easily it's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Leaves it with the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They go right back to it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Yeah. 
They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got him along the sideline. Beautiful footwork for the first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. The Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. They'll leave it with him. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Nose is ahead to the 30-yard line to pick up of one. You definitely want to commit to the run game. You, you want to establish the run game. You want the defense to honor it. But if it doesn't work a little later down the road, you might think about airing that puppy out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off the play fake. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. A deep tradition of backers who make plays and get after quarterbacks. Ray Lewis could do it all back in the day, just like this guy is. And they, they look the same, don't they? They look the part, just big, physical, huge guys. But the speed element, always there, always in the backfield, making plays. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Looking downfield, it's Shuck. They've got the screen set up. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. You got to love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Good right down the boulevard. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Plenty of time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Give to the back. Shows him the stiff arm. And a short gain here in the first quarter will come to a close. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Caught over the middle. It's George. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Well, the drag routes put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And the Canes will try to pin them back with the punt. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. 
Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. You kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. He'll keep it himself. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. And that's what I love about the QB run game in this offense, is it just keeps these defenses off balance. We're going to see a lot of running backs doing their work between the tackles in this game as well. But you see how mixing in the quarterback run, too, it just keeps this defense so confused. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. With the catch, it's Lacey. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. He leaves it with his back. They make the tackle at the 33, but he's ripped off 15 yards and picked up a first down. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. And the Cardinals are rolling down the field. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Soften them up with a run. Now to throw. Finds a man on the right. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. Out routes are very much about timing. That you got It's got to be a quick, decisive movement from the quarterback. As soon as he sticks that foot in the ground, you know he's breaking out. Throw it right now so he can go make you a play. Great pitch, great catch. The Cardinals trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you got to get locked in in the red zone. A lot of defensive coordinators, they'll tell you, we'll give up yards, but we got to understand what we're trying to get accomplished. Great job down here near the goal line. This defense bowing their neck up and getting a big stop. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Lining up to add another. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. And closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there getting set. Coming out with it, it's Restrepo. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. 
And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, running back gets to give. He's there to make the stop. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Arroyo. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. You know, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Good blocking, good running pickup of six out to the 30. Uh, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Back to pass. It's Ward. Works the middle. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it. And I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. The Hurricanes will line it up on first and ten. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. They'll go to the ground. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Line is set on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Caught close to the marker, it's Martinez. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll throw it on first down. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Play number nine on this drive. Scanning the field, it's Ward. Going for it all. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. They want to just keep throwing it. A strike downfield. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Now on first down for this offense. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. 
after the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Never a doubt. And that'll tie things up as we head toward halftime. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final point of this first half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Got him downfield. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Holds it in. Afterburner's coming. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Louisville! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. You want to see quick strike ability? It was epitomized there. Two plays, 80 yards, touchdown on the board. They're lining up to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Louisville for a fun first half than you? And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at L&N Federal Credit Union Stadium. And the Cardinals will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Restrepo. 
rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. You get a guy who can do that on the outside and is sort of in the DNA of Miami's program. Yeah, just speed. Those are guys that put fear in you. Those are the track stars. The, the Sunshine State produces so many of them. Those guys can absolutely fly. Quick pass on the fly motion. Breaks the tackle. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. They ran it on first down, now on second. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll turn to Martinez. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Canes have this offense rolling. Off the play fake on first down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And the Canes will have it first and ten. Red pass, it's complete. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Hurricane! The field position was bad. The finish was great. Great way to answer that poor field position. Poor field position, no problem. How about it? Great job by the offensive coordinator. This offense getting in a good rhythm early, even backed up, even in a predictable situation. Great job coming out. On to attempt to try. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. 
Dropping back. It's shut. Quickly complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You can tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Looking to throw for it. Fires to the tight end. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. To the air on first down. Gets open down the middle. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. On second down, wants to throw. Pressure coming. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Direct snap. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. The Cardinals will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to the ground with the running back. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. And the Hurricanes will snap it on first and 10. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They go to the ground. Powers through the defender. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Dropping back, it's Ward. Fires to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Canes decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
He'll bring it back. It's Lacey. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the draw play, you know, it's about looking over here, look for pass, and then slipping it in real quick. Defense, too quick getting in the backfield, caging that ball, making it stay in the middle of the field, getting the big TFL. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Got the back over the middle. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Yeah, and that's one of those where you just look at the coverage. You look at down the field, taking away all the options, making sure you don't throw that ball downfield to get the first down. The only option, check it to the running back. Now I close that space. Nice job tackling. And the Cardinals will punt this one away. Looking for a block. It's Restrepo. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. He's looking to throw it. Intercepted. Looking for more room. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Cardinal. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the returner is stopped. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. To the air. It's Ward. He's right on target. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Martinez on the carry. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Martinez. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. 
Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Give to the running back. At midfield, he's got room. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. The Hurricanes getting set on first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Unloads to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Big third down there for the quarterback, and he knew where his best chance was at getting that first. He found the curl route, made an accurate throw, and as a result, the offense stays on the field. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Canes are in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. On target. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Running back searching for a hole. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Defense, defense, defense. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Looking for a man, it's Ward. Snags it! They will score! Touchdown, Miami! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. He'll try to tack on one more. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. They'll give it to the back. Smashes through. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their will. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. The give to the back. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. They not only have to deal with this defense, but the noise from this crowd on third and four. Looking to throw, it's Shuck. Finds a man in the middle. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage, they create separation, they wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it, and what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. It's third down now. And they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to it. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. The Cardinals will bring the punt team onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. In second and ten, he'll throw again. Fires to the wideout just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. It is plays like that that'll let you pile up some serious passing yards. Man, what an effort. I mean, the layout to be able to catch the football, keep it off the ground. Nice job by this receiver, and that's why this quarterback's had a day. Guys making plays all over the field. Dropping back, it's Ward. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. As a quarterback, you've got to be precise when throwing these corner routes. You cannot leave the ball short, or that thing is getting picked. So nice job by the QB, putting enough air under the ball to give his wide receiver a chance. They'll turn to Martinez. Open space at the 25. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. They'll ride the hot hand. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. 
The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half. Got three on first down at second and seven. Power football with the run. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Score is deadlocked, and we're running out of time. Here's the handoff. Discards a man. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Between the uprights, it's good. Celebration erupts on the sideline as they take the lead in the final seconds. You can't say enough about this kid's poise. You're playing on the road. The crowd's going crazy, willing you to miss this kick, but he stayed dialed in, puts it through the upright, David, to give his team the lead here late. It's crazy because it's nerve-wracking. You put your body on the line for so long, and then it comes down to a kick, and he has to be clutch in a hostile environment, and he comes through for his squad. That late clutch field goal put them on top. They can almost taste victory if they can keep them from scoring to tie or win the game. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. They're bringing heat. And down he goes. Had a chance to pull one out of the fire, and the defense slammed the brakes on it, and that's going to do it. 